Lesson 5.7. Rewrite two-digit subtraction. There are two ways to write a subtraction problem. We can write it in a row, like a number sentence, and we can write them with place value columns, the ones, the tens. If we see a subtraction problem written in a row as a number sentence, we can rewrite it in place value columns. Then it'll be easier to do regrouping. What is 73 minus 28? We rewrite the subtraction problem in place value columns. Then we find the difference. 73 is 7 tens, 3 ones. We put the 7 in the tens place, the 3 in the ones place. 28 is 2 tens, 8 ones. We put the 2 in the tens place, the 8 in the ones place. We make sure that each digit is in the correct place value column. Then we look at the ones to see if we need to regroup. We have 3 ones and we need to take away 8. So we don't have enough. We will need to regroup. The 7 tens becomes 6 tens. We take 1 away. We give it to the ones. Now we have 10 ones to add over here. Instead of 3 ones, we have 13 ones. 13 ones minus 8 ones is 5 ones. 6 tens minus 2 tens is 4 tens. It's equal to 45. It's telling us to rewrite the subtraction problem, then find the difference. We have 45 minus 7. That's only 7 ones, so we're going to write the 4 in the tens place, the 5 in the ones place, and the 7 in the ones place. We have 5 ones and we want to take 7 away and we don't have enough. So this is going to become 3 tens. This is going to become 15 ones. 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. 3 minus, there's nothing here, so we just bring it down. It's equal to 38. Here we have 59 minus 26. They both have tens and ones, so we can write 59 and 26. We have nine ones and we need to take away six ones. Can we do that? Do we have enough ones? If you said yes, you're right. Nine minus six is three, and five tens minus two tens is three tens. It's equal to 33. Here we have 74 minus 18. They both have tens and ones, so we can write 74 and 18. We look at the ones. We have four ones. We need to take eight away. Do we have enough? If you said no, you're right. We need to regroup. The seven is going to become six tens. The four is going to become 14 ones. And 14 minus eight is six. And six tens minus one ten is five tens. It's equal to 56. Make sure to line up the ones with the ones and the tens with the tens. We have 34 minus nine. That's only nine ones. So we would not write it in the tens place and we wouldn't put it in the middle. We would make sure the nine was underneath the four ones. Here we have three subtraction problems. It says to put the problem in the correct group, rewrite to solve or quickly solve with mental math. Where do you think this one would go? Would we have to rewrite this one to solve it or could we quickly solve this one with mental math? If you said mental math, you're right. We're just taking away two tens. Two tens from six tens. We're taking zero ones away from the seven ones, so we're still going to have seven ones, and two tens from six tens is four tens. It's equal to 47. We could do that very quickly with mental math. What about this one? Do we need to rewrite it to solve, or can we quickly do this with mental math? If you said rewrite to solve, you're right. We have nine ones, 
from three ones, and that's not enough ones. If we rewrite it, 83 with the 29 underneath it, we can regroup from the tens. That'll become a seven. The three ones becomes 13 ones. Now we have enough ones. 13 minus nine is equal to four. Seven tens minus two tens is five tens. It's 54. And what about this one? Do we need to rewrite this one to solve it? Or can we quickly solve this one with mental math? If you said quickly solve with mental math, you're right. There's no tens in the subtrahend. We're just taking away seven ones from the nine ones. Nine minus seven, that leaves two ones. We're not taking away any tens, so the tens stay the same. It's equal to 52. Addition and subtraction are related. We can check our subtraction difference with addition. We have six minus four is equal to two. We can add the four and the two together. And if it equals six, we know we got the right answer. Let's try it with this one. We have 83 minus 29. We look at the ones place and see we don't have enough ones to take nine away. So we're gonna regroup. That's gonna become seven tens. The three will become 13 ones. 13 minus nine is equal to four. Seven minus two is five. That's 54. That means we're gonna put the 54 up here and we'll add. Nine plus four is 13. We regroup a 10, put the three down in the ones place. We have five, six, seven, eight. We have 83. That was the same as our minuend. That means we did our math correctly. So we can use addition to check our subtraction difference. The phrase, how many more, is used in comparison problems. We compare amounts by using subtraction. If you see the clue words, how many more, you'll know that you probably need to subtract. Here it's telling us to read about Mr. Lee's store, then answer the questions. Mr. Lee owns a grocery store. He sold 35 tomatoes and 52 onions. Then he sold 19 plums and 24 bananas. This is a comparison problem. How many more onions were sold than tomatoes? We're comparing the number of onions to the number of tomatoes. The number of onions, 52 onions. Tomatoes, that was 35 tomatoes. We can subtract. We have two ones and we need to take five away. So that's not enough. We're going to have to regroup from the tens place. The five tens becomes four tens. The two ones become 12 ones. 12 minus five is seven. Four tens minus three tens is one ten. That means he sold 17 more onions than he did tomatoes. This one says how many more tomatoes were sold than plums. We're comparing the amount of tomatoes to the amount of plums. There were 35 tomatoes. There were 19 plums sold. We subtract to find the difference. We have five and need to take nine away. We don't have enough ones, so we're gonna have to regroup. Three tens becomes two tens. Five ones becomes 15 ones. 15 minus nine is equal to six. Two tens minus one ten is one ten. That means he sold 16 more tomatoes than he did plums. We can write more tomatoes. To label our answer. Emma and Tala picked apples at an orchard. Emma picked 26 apples and Tala picked 19 apples. 
How many more apples did Emma pick than Tala? And it's telling us to fill in the bubble next to all the ways to show the problem. It says all the ways, so that means there could be more than one way to show the problem. Would we show it as 26 plus 19? Well, it's saying that Emma picked 26 and Tala picked 19. How many more did Emma pick than Tala? So we're comparing the two numbers. If we're comparing the two numbers, we need to find the difference. So it wouldn't be addition, that would be a total. We need to compare the difference with subtraction. So that would be one of the ways. Would this be one of the ways? 26 plus 19 written as a number sentence? Hmm, that's still addition, so it wouldn't be this way. What if it was 26 minus 19 written as a number sentence like this? Would that be a way to show the problem? If you said yes, you're right. It's a subtraction problem. We're comparing the two amounts, and we need to find the difference. So make sure as you're writing these in place value columns that you keep them in the correct column, the ones with the ones and the tens with the tens. And as I always say, you can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep place values in their correct column. In our next lesson, 5.8, we are going to add to find differences. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you have a really good day. Bye.